Shortly after 14-month-old Jonah Kenevi was born, his parents knew something was wrong. A routine hearing test showed he was deaf, news the Kenevis didn't want to believe. It didn't matter who really had told us that he had hearing loss because we went home and he was your typical baby. You'd look at him and he would coo and he would smile and we'd say, well, I know he heard that. I felt like he heard that. But he didn't. So at 11 months of age, Jonah became one of only a handful of children in the country under the age of one to have simultaneous cochlear implants. During surgery, doctors implanted microphones behind each ear and fed wires to nerves near Jonah's brain. When the microphones detect noise, the wires vibrate and create sound, which not only allows him to hear, but will help him learn how to talk. The longer you wait to implant, okay, the chance of you catching up to the level of a almost normal uh, speech development is much less. Dr. Richard Kong of Columbus Children's Hospital performed the surgery. He says that the implants are vital for the development of sound and speech, and while some fear they could affect the child's balance, it was not the case with Jonah. He actually took the first step. Uh, he was, you know, after, right after the surgery, you know, so clearly, you know, that at least clinically indicates that it didn't impact his development in the balance in terms of learning to walk. Just by watching him play and react, doctors say it's obvious that Jonah continues to develop. And by the time he's old enough to share his thoughts, he won't even remember the first few months he spent in silence. At Columbus Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.